don't really want anything. You don't want anything? How could you not want anything? It's lovely. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK. And today we're looking at the most bizarre things up for sale in the UK's many chippies. Uh, well, the only thing I've ever seen deep fried uh, there was a pizza. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10. Deep Fried Mars Bar we're opening with this because, let's be honest, it's so notorious that it doesn't actually seem that weird anymore. First of all, you start with a nice refrigerated Mars bar. But the combination of chocolate and batter is still enough to turn a lot of people's stomachs, though just as many swear by the deep fried Mars bar as a national delicacy. Then stick in the batter and into the pan. It takes a couple of minutes to cook. It of course originates from Stonehaven, Scotland and was popular there for years until the English heard about it. The Mars bar has now spread, and you can get this dish in England and Wales too. People go outside and get their photos taken with the Mars bar sign, and they, they really enjoy the experience. Not only that, but there are other confectionaries you can enjoy deep fried. Chief among them, cream eggs and Snickers. And then Nigella only went and deep fried a bounty. How could she? Number 9. Spam Fritters We'll get into the more regional delicacies later, but up and down the country, Spam fritters remain a popular option in the chip shop. Like many British foods, Spam fritters emerged during the Second World War as a cheap, tasty alternative to fish, but many people still balk at them. So now, now we're going to make the Spam fritters! Undoubtedly, a deep fried slab of Spam isn't good for you, since Spam is about as processed as it's possible for meat to be and absolutely drowning in salt. So you put the thing in, spam the spam. <laughs> but as a weekly treat when you get your Friday night fish supper, plenty of people will still go for a reliable spam fritter above anything else on the menu. To people in other countries though, this tradition is baffling. Number 8. Scraps or Bits Cake and chips, love. With scraps on. Yeah, I love scraps on. What's a chip shop to do with all of the excess batter that drops to the bottom of the deep fat fryer while they make their fish and sausages? Give them to you as an extra, of course. Many chip shops won't even charge you for the scraps, and will let you pile them onto your portion of chips to your heart's content. They'd only go to waste otherwise, after all. And you can have scraps. You can have scraps on your chips. They're absolutely delicious with salt and vinegar. Known up and down the country as scraps, bits or even gribbles, they're a chip shop staple, particularly in the north. Stranger than scraps existing, however, was m and decision in 2020 to charge its customers a whopping £1 for a tub of them, for which the supermarket was widely mocked. Number 7. Chip sauce. What you got in there? Chip spice. <laughs> this is so good. What is this mysterious elixir available only in Hull, you might be wondering? Well, it's largely made of salt and paprika, though its actual formulation remains a trade secret. What is chip spice? We know what's in it. Uh, not really. It's just spice from Hull. Sold as American chip spice in certain retailers, namely branches of Asda around Humberside, this concoction was inspired by a holiday to America taken by restaurateur John Science, who wanted to bring fast food from America to Britain and is now offered in most local chippies. So together, they all come together to make an all-round taste sensation, perfect seasoning for your chips. Chip Spice has received wider recognition thanks to the city's most beloved comedian, Lucy Beaumont, talking about it on telly, and it's now available in regions far beyond the borders of Hull, such as Leeds. How exotic. Can you believe this? It's eight beef burgers, four chicken burgers, topped with cheese, fried onion, mushroom and egg for £5.10. Number 6. Orange Chips You'll have to journey into the Midlands to get some orange chips, commonly found around the Black Country in Birmingham. They've been massively popular among brummies for years and are, quite simply, chips dipped in batter and fried. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, beautifully crispy, proper orange chips. But what exactly makes them so orange? Well, somewhat ominously, that's another trade secret. It's widely believed that spices like turmeric and paprika are used in the batter, which also has a unique taste, but it could also be beef dripping. Let's go in for it. Let's go in for a chip first, because that's really what we've come for, haven't we? We've come for the orange battered chips. Nobody knows, but recipes to make them at home simply add paprika and food colouring to get the trademark colour. But look how white and fluffy that is on the inside. 
compared to the outer. It sort of accentuates the potato. Deep frying chips sounds like such a good idea though. It's strange it hasn't caught on elsewhere. Number five, pizza crunch. Now this is what they, they call up here a pizza crunch. We're returning to Scotland yet again to look at another of the country's unique dishes. Like the deep fried chips, this one is so obvious you'll be amazed more chippies don't sell it. A deep fried slice of pizza. It's a thing called a pizza crunch and you get the pizza and you batter the pizza and then deep fry it <laughs> and then call it a pizza crunch and serve it to school children. In fact, you can only get a deep fried pizza or pizza fritter in Naples. In Italy, however, they only deep fry the dough and add the toppings afterwards. Not so in Scotland, which will have a fully cooked pizza with the toppings and then cover that in batter and fry it up. Deep fried pizza is famous in Glasgow, but you can get it in other places, like Edinburgh. And in 2020, rumours began to circulate that actually Pizza Crunch had been nicked from Kilbride. You actually, seriously, you've seen people eating the deep fried pizza bag. I've, I've been that person, I've tried the pizza, <laughs> pizza, crunch. <laughs> pizza crunch. Number four, deep fried haggis. It seems like a no-brainer that the Scots would start deep frying haggis, combining two of the most famous, or infamous, parts of Scottish cuisine. That looks disgusting. I don't have a fork or anything to eat this thing. You have to eat it with your hands. That's more disgusting. Haggis itself is still rarely seen south of the border, though you can get it if you're really looking for it. As for deep fried haggis, in the rest of the UK, you'll probably have to fry it yourself. Look at the state of that. It's gonna drip. That is the deep fried haggis. Wow. Supposedly, Edinburgh boasts the best deep fried haggis around, and you'll enjoy your deep fried sheep's stomach with a traditional side order of chips and mushy peas. You can also get a deep fried white pudding in Scotland, which is a black pudding with meat instead of blood. Not too bad. It's nice and creamy. I like it. We could do with a fork though. Number three, Yorkshire fish cakes. Cake and chips is a Yorkshire fish cake, not like a cake. Every chip shop in the country sells fish cakes. They're cheap, reliable and hearty. But what about Yorkshire's own variety of fish cake? Well, it's got the same principal ingredients as a normal fish cake, fish and potato, but instead of being mashed together, you get two or maybe three enormous slices. And it's always made up with fish bits. This is how they get rid of the fish bits in a chip shop. At least one slice of potato, sometimes two, and between them, lots of fish. To finish the dish, you deep fry it, obviously. Once they're done, you've got to get them out to rest. You want some of that oil draining off there. Some people on social media defended the Yorkshire fish cake by saying that a normal cake is also made of slices and a filling, which is a fair point. They look absolutely superb. Look at that. Number two, Wigan kebab. Wigan kebab. <laughs> now that's what you call a butty. Despite being small, Wigan is mighty when it comes to its chip shop culture, and the Wigan kebab puts even the Yorkshire fish cake to shame when it comes to piling on the carbs. Right, mate, I've been told to come in and order a Wigan kebab, but I don't actually know what it is. Do you not know what a Wigan kebab is? Simply put, it's a meat and potato pie in a bread roll, or alternatively, on a balm, bap, cob, or batch, depending on where you're from. Its alternate name is a pie balm. Presumably what you'll call it if you've bought one from anywhere other than Wigan. That is sensational. That is actually spot on, mate. Another popular Wigan dish is the Babby's Yed, so named because it looks like a baby's head. It's a simple steak and kidney pudding with chips and gravy. Babby's Yed, because it looks like a baby's head. Number one, pea wet. I've got the menu here, mate, so I can get a smack for 40p. Yeah, yeah. So what is smack? It's well known in Wigan, smack burn pea wet. If you know anything about chip shops, you knew this one was coming. Also most commonly found in Wigan is pea wet, which you'll usually find on a smack balm pea wet. What's pea wet mate? What's pea wet? In Wigan, it's as good as gravy. It's, it's, the, it's the water off the pea. But if you're not a Lancashire native, you may be disturbed to learn that pea wet is the juice from mushy peas, used liberally as a condiment in this part of England. Gotta be honest, the look of this pea wet is knocking me a bit sick. A smack balm pea wet is when you take a potato scallop, a deep fried slab of potato, put it on a balm cake, and then add a liberal amount of pea wet over the top. All this can cost less than a quid, which might be what makes it so beloved. There's no pea, it's just wet, but you can taste the pea. Let us know what you order from your local chippy in the comments. What's the strangest thing you've ever deep fried? 
Oh, we've, we've done a lot of different things. Snowballs at Christmas. We used to do clouty dumpling at Christmas. We've, we tried shortbread. That didn't quite work. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.